Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP Elite Book 640 G10. To gain access to the internals, you need to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. Then, lift the bottom panel close to one of the top corners to create a slight gap between the chassis and the metal piece. After that, pry the corner with a thin plastic tool. The rest is easy. Just work your way around all sides of the device. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery is a 51.3 watt hour model. To take it out, detach the connector from the main board and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. It got us through 12 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing or 9 hours and 5 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the HP Optimized Modern Standby Power Plan that can be found in the Control Panel's Power Options tab. Also, you have to apply the Balanced Preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. Make sure that the Max DC Performance option is turned off in the BIOS. If not, this will harm the battery life because the Turbo Boost technology will be turned on even when a power adapter is not connected. Storage-wise, there are two M.2 slots. The one on the left side of the battery fits 2230 SSDs or a WAN card for optional LTE connectivity. The second slot is compatible with 2280 Gen 4 NVMEs. For memory upgrades, you get two SODIMs for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. The thermal system comprises one large fan, a heat pipe, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader. 